Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And we have more info now on the money that T Mobile is trying to raise. So, according to analysts from New Street, T Mobile is looking to raise around $3 billion for Spectrum purchases. Now, this is pure speculation on the analyst's part. T-Mobile did not come out and specifically state that they are raising this money for Spectrum. They stated several reasons. Uh, reasons, Corporate purposes, Spectrum was in there, and then also to, to finance and, and pay down some debt. All those reasons were mentioned in the official press release from T-Mobile. Now, analysts are more or less speculating that most of that money will be used towards Spectrum purchases in uh, licensing in the uh, auction 110 now that makes a lot of sense because t-mobile doesn't want to lose the spectrum advantage that they've had they had the lead so far you know almost two months in the merger in terms of deploying the mid-band spectrum they got the assets from the sprint merger they've put them to use uh, very quickly and they've been upgrading and putting the spectrum on sites but what they also had the lead in very you know, on a, on a larger scale was the spectrum bandwidth that they've had. They've had more than their competitors. Now, with this recent C-band auction, Verizon and AT&T closed the gap. Verizon additionally spent almost $2 billion on CBRS to further close the gap. AT&T spent a significant amount on C-band, and they are anticipated to spend around $8 billion to secure a nationwide chunk of this uh, of this spectrum at 40 megahertz which also further closes the gap on t-mobile spectrum lead now in order for t-mobile to keep that lead or further extend that lead they have to buy more spectrum if not the gap's going to close and it'll virtually be non-existent because all verizon has to do is deploy more sites and then they'll be able to you know outperform t-mobile now this is what uh, new street is predicting new street believes t-mobile is planning to raise three billion dollars in the new transaction meaning t-mobile could spend between six billion and seven billion on spectrum and this is uh in auction 110 so that would according to their current estimates Secure T-Mobile 30 megahertz nationwide. Now, that would be big because if they got 30 on average nationwide, that means they secured a lot of markets that have 40 megahertz that they got. So there was a total of 100 megahertz. If T-Mobile spent enough, they likely got, and this is a prediction of mine, I think they would have, if they got 30 megahertz on a nationwide scale, that tells me in the top 50 markets, they likely got 40 megahertz alongside AT&T. New Street predicts that Verizon got none of the spectrum. They're at zero. They just played in the auction to raise up the bidding price, but they really didn't get any licenses. That would be, for many that are really big wireless tech enthusiasts, uh, th that would leave them disappointed. But by history, if we go by history, during LTE... There were several Spectrum auctions that I felt were quite important and Verizon really didn't get anything. Band 30, they didn't spend as much as I thought they would on the AWS. So they may do without Spectrum. So if they didn't get any of this auction 110, I still think they're going to work their strategy and be just fine. There's enough densification. It's just T-Mobile's spectrum lead would be would further extend and then in terms of matching t-mobile's performance verizon would have to extensively continuing to build densification into the network over the years which they will do anyway i think they will do that if they got spectrum in auction 110 or if they didn't it's just in their nature to do so they love densification they know when to build versus when to buy. They've always stated that. And they know they don't want to beam uh, coverage into certain neighborhoods from a, from a site further away. They know how to build 
the the proper densification to make their network work as good as, as it possibly can. So again, just wanted to share this with you guys that it, the analysts are predicting T-Mobile to raise around $3 billion. Again, none of this officially came from a T-Mobile press release. This is just what New Street is predicting. I tend to agree. I think $3 billion uh, sounds like a good amount. And it's, I think shows that okay this most of this is going towards the spectrum in auction 110 they are estimated to have around four billion dollars on the uh, cash on hand as of q3 so you know if you add another billion or two to that i think you can get to that six billion dollar mark to secure that 30 megahertz that new street is predicting t-mobile got so let me know what you think about this let me know if this changes your perception on T-Mobile. Again, like I said, perception is big. You know, oftentimes perception doesn't equal reality. But in this case, like I said, the third party statistics are starting to back T-Mobile on that perception. You know, when you go on to root metrics now, you look at the, 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 the core markets, the big markets. T-Mobile is the fastest. And, t and root metrics is backing them now. And it's not even close anymore versus AT&T and Verizon. So just keep that in mind. It's it's going to get really competitive here in the next few years. So stay tuned to the channel for more. Make sure you guys are liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload content. Make sure to follow the social media outlets for more updates and interactions. Thanks again for watching. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See you in the next one. Peace.